It's like me saying to you, is the center of the moon made from cheese? We don't know, we don't know. The moon has no center. How do you know? Has someone been in the center of the moon? Yes. Who? Who? The aliens. Do you believe in aliens and that the moon is a base without any evidence? But then when I show to you the Gospels, which were from the earliest witnesses, you seem to say this is unreliable. And as I said earlier on, guys, when you make uh, arguments of ignorance, it makes the speaker look ignorant because we now have confirmed that there's aliens that live inside the moon. Yes, it means the uh, Yahweh says. So in the, Old Te in, the Old, in the Old Testament, every single name by God had a meaning. For example, Adam means from the ground. Eve means like she was the gave birth to uh, like human, humankind. Abraham means father of a generation. Moses means out of the water. So every time God gave a name, it had a significance. So the name Yeshua meant Yahweh says which was what the Messiah was supposed to do. This is why Jesus was God. Yahushua. Yeah, Yahushua was the long form. Yeah, was the long form. Yeshua, after the exile, if it, if anyone, because even uh, uh, Moses' companion, Yahushua, his name was then rendered in the short form of Yeshua, which was the same as Jesus. There's, there's, there's a lot of uh, confusion yes. about the actual name. Yes, in but the Talmud it, and everywhere else. The Talmud uses Yeshu. They kind of tried to distort his name, but we know what it, it, it came because it, it comes from the root. It etymologically means it comes from Yahweh says. So Yehoshua and Yeshua come from the same meaning of Yahweh says. So this is and the Bible confirms this when God gives Mary the name to uh, yeah when God gives the name to Mary he get, explains the meaning to her. But for Muslims they have the name Isa. They Is cannot. Isa is similar to the Greek. Isus. Yes, but if Allah is all-knowing, why is he taking a translation from the Greek? The Arabic form of no, Yeshua. They, they, what is? Do you know that? Do you know the Isus. Arabic? No, it's Arabic not. Of what? No, of, of Yeshua. No, I know it's, Isa. It's Yashu. Isa. Yashu is the direct translation from Arabic. No, why don't they use Yashu? That is the whole point. So the whole point of this is no, because so in, the in, Greek. in no, Greek. they didn't. They took the Western Syria. It's Isho. But we have a problem called homophones when you have names that sound the same like night with a K and night with an N. So Muhammad must have heard the name Isho because that was used by Nestorians and his... But Muhammad had nothing to do with Christians. Yes, there but were no Christians his, in his uncle Warika was a Christian. I didn't know that. Yes, it's in the Hadith. Yeah, he had to do only with Jews. And, and Muhammad was a merchant. He used to go to Syria. He traded in Syria. I'm not so sure about that. He did. He died in Fat Arabia. Fatima sent him to Syri uh, Syria to, to, as a merchant and when he came back she realised he was very good at his job. So he could have easily have heard it because the problem is in Syria you have two renditions of the same spelling, Isho and Yeshua, but they're spelt the same. So it's very likely that he heard the name Isho and translated that into Isha or Isa but without realizing the spelling. But yeah. all we know... It's all mixed up. Yeah, but all we know is that does not translate into Hebrew. That's a simple question. What is the Hebrew of Esau? We don't know, we don't know his real name, you understand? We, we know with a 90% certainty what his name was. Some people called him... We don't have birth certificates. We don't have, we don't have, we don't have, we don't have birth certificates. But what do historians do? They collect all the evidence and make a logical conclusion. If I said to you, did Julius Caesar exist? You say yes. I say bring me his birth certificate. You say you can't. All you can do me is bring evidence of manuscripts and things that attest we, to we, him. We, in, yes. the, in, the, in the Jewish tradition, yes. we have a number of Jesuses yes. in the Talmud. Are you Jewish? Yes. Okay. One is pre-first pre, pre uh, first century. And what was his one name? Is, one, is, one is another 135, time of Rabbi Akiva's death. Yes. Uh, because that yes. was also Papos ben Yehuda, supposed to be his father. But what was but his name? But that's too far away. Or what was his name? Uh, well, they, they what different... did they refer to him as? Well, the, uh, Yeshu. Yeshu. Exactly. Yeshua. So we know this is rendered 
Let's let just for argument's sake. Yeshua very... is not a Jewish name. That's what I'm saying. Like Jesus is yes. not a Jewish name. Yes, but it comes from the Yahushua. Jesus is, 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 a, is a Latin form. No, 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 no. Yeah, Jesus comes Latin from Jesus. Yes, exactly. But yeah. we're talking about his Hebrew name, not talking about Jesus. But we know where Jesus people, comes from. A lot of Jews in the time of yes. when he lived took Greek names. Yes. You see? Yes. Messiah, Matthew was Messiah. Yes. Yes. Matityahu, yes. Matityahu, uh, you understand? But did, God, did, the, did the old prophets have Greek names? Or no. The they were given in Hebrew? The, only the ones from yes. about the big, uh, 50, 60 years before, yes. um, the, actually so yes. the birth of Jesus, but, but we're, where the, the Jewish names were Greek, were made into Greek. But we're also aware that even the, the uh, disciples, they all had Hebrew names, but they also had Greek names, like Paul. Was given Paul, a Greek, Paul went was by given, Greek name. given a Greek name yes, exactly. when, when, he but he had done, a, when he had his vision. Exactly, but he had a Hebrew name. So, we know that. Yeah, exactly. That's my whole point. Jesus had a Hebrew name and it was translated into Greek. We, don't really, we, we, we speculate he was Yahshua. It's yes. his, his only name because there, there were kings called Yahshua, yes. the king of Israel. And, and he had the same name as the companion of Moses. Because in the Bible... Yeah, you should have been known. Yes, because it refers to both of them and it gives them the same Greek name as Yesu. So, unless the Bible was an eyewitness testimony of the times, this is all the evidence we need. I'm reading a book, very interesting book by Mead. He believes that Jesus of the of the of the of the, of the New Testament, yes. one who was actually crucified, yes. happened about 80 BC. Okay. And the whole the um, how do you call it? The dating of yes. the of his death is not right. Well, it that happened happened before. Well, I mean that would be very very unlikely. Because to they, happen. Ha they have they have a story in the in the Hebrew. The, re the reason why that's not true is because the earliest epistle of Paul was written in about 40 AD. That means Paul was writing about Jesus being crucified before he was even crucified. So that scholarship can get thrown out the window. Because fiction as well. Well, these are the. But I'm just rebutting your argument that he was uh, crucified in 80 AD because all the gospels were written pretty much before then. So this is probably a fringe theory, which is incorrect. There is a, how do you call it in English? Dating. How do you call that? Carbon dating. No, the dating. It's an English word. The dating is somewhere wrong. They all rely on this uh, this uh, Roman who uh, who started the Greco, his, uh, the Greco calendar. The calendar, yeah. Okay. And he went back and he made a mistake too, but only by six years. Well, I mean, that's a double he, top. He, he went back <laughs> to a, the time when... Even, even if it was six years, it would take you to 74 AD, which is still, you know, way six, off the six Gospels. Years. He, he, yeah, but yeah. the Gospels were written like 30, 40 years before that date. So, the Gospels could not have been written before he was crucified and talk about his crucifixion. Now, that's why we say it could have been that he was an, there was another Jesus who we know about. Okay. We but know it's, very, about, it's very who, unlikely. Who died on the eve, who yes. died on the eve of Passover, which was the Sabbath. Okay. That's why I had to take the But this is why we call it a fringe theory. And when we look at but all there the... there are so the, many Jesuses uh, knocking around in the Talmud, in the Mishnah, okay. and, 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 and yeah, another, it was a common another, name. I think. Yes. Uh, that we don't know who's who at yes. the Bible. How many were born in Nazareth? We don't know how many born in Nazareth. Okay. I don't know. Well, you'd have to narrow it down then. Because, yes, there's many people, but we would have to narrow it down to the people we who were born in Nazareth. We know that Jesus of Christianity was born in Nazareth yes. because uh, the New Testament tells us. So. And they were what? Eyewitnesses? Or people from a... Even if you wanted to be skeptical of the, no, the, 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 the New was, Testament, these were people who were aware of the environment at the time. So there were people who knew, yes? So we can take this as a very solid source evidence. We don't know. There's a lot of chronology. That's the word I was looking for. Yes, but the chronology is somewhere down the road, not right. But to either, avoid either the Jewish writings are wrong, or the Christians got well, it, uh, you, did you, it wrong. To avoid a argument of ignorance. We're trying to find the, the, the Jesus of history. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Yes. And where did he come from? What the, they're not just about ten Jesuses spread well, out. Well, when we look at most scholarship and they agree uh, on all these things, his crucifixion, when it was, because we have criteria of historicity, such as earliest attestation, attestation, uh, you know, uh, source prior, like the closest to the time, multiple eyewitnesses, uh, the theory of dis dissimilarity, and the theory of embarrassment. So these are four principles which we use to identify historicity, which the Bible means all of them. Well, all, all it is, is like me saying to you, is the center of the moon made from cheese? We don't the know, we don't know. The moon has no center. How do you know? 
Yeah. Has someone been in the centre of the moon? Yes. Who? Who? The aliens. The aliens. And have you met? That. Have you met them? No, we know. What? Which aliens? <laughs> The aliens live there. The aliens that live on the moon? Yeah, Have you seen them? Do you believe in aliens? aliens. <laughs> so the, moon, the moon is yeah, actually a, a space base. It's a base. It's a base. It's a base. It's hollow. Uh, and as I said earlier on, guys, when you make. Uh, arguments of ignorance, it makes the speaker look ignorant because we now have confirmed that there's aliens that live they, inside no, the moon. They think that the moon is made out of like us, earth and everything, when it's nothing but dust for about two feet okay. and the rest is some peculiar metal. Okay. And what is your evidence for this? Uh, there is evidence which NASA does not want to publish. I'm asking you for your evidence. Evidence, there are times when they, they drop things on the moon Who? and they hurt the Americans and the moon shook. Yeah, where's the evidence for this? The Americans got it, but they can don't you, publish can it. Can you bring me the evidence? If they don't publish it, how do you know it's evidence? How could you like... I know of it. I didn't personally see it or so, hear it. So it could be a lie you're believing? Na NASA is hiding a lot of things. So you could be believing hearsay? It's more than hearsay. But it's then you believe in aliens. It's when Apollo, Apollo, you, Apollo, so you believe, Apollo 11 went round. You believe in aliens and that the moon is a base without any evidence. But then when I show to you the Gospels, which were from the earliest witnesses, you seem to say this is unreliable. This, but your hearsay is, sources gospel, are more reliable than gospel, eyewitness testimony gospel, at the time that date back to the time. It's is political. It's political. Yeah, gospel, like the Bible, is political. Okay. The Jews, is, the Jews love the Bible because God chose them out of all people and gave them the laws. You understand? They will never give up the Bible because okay. they're the chosen people. Okay. You see? Okay. The same with the Christians. They believe in their Gospels as anything. Okay. There's no arguing about it and that's it. Yeah, the Gospels, there are 13 Gospels, you know that. But they were, they were written. But why weren't the rest by people, written? You believe it was written by people at the time? Uh, I'm not so sure. So when was it written? Because the only one, the only, the, I just put it in a hundred years later. Do you could have, have been, evidence? Could have been hundred years earlier. Do you have evidence for this? Evidence. I, I, so what? I, so why is it? Why is it? Why is it you question that? But then you don't question yes. aliens living inside the moon, the alien, and you've never seen aliens. Because somebody is ruling this bloody world, and I know it's not us. Okay. So your argumentation is based on what you believe is to be true, without actually backing up with source evidence. See, the Muslims are breaking their head for about thousand four hundred years about something very simple, and it still is not the answer. We are being ruled by a certain being. Well, we can just wrap this up anyway. Uh, as we, as, as we've seen, uh, you know, Muslims have not been able to provide any uh, academic. Uh, authentication of an alternative name of what Yeshua could have been. Neva uh, is this person who believes in aliens in the side of the moon. The Bible is rock solid in what it claims, and it, you know, anything that is a deviation from it, there is no substantiation to it. This is why when we question Muslims on where the name Isa came from, they cannot provide answers or an alternative name. All they can do is make attacks from ignorance which is not is a fallacy in itself if they want to have a proper discussion bring an alternative name and we can see then which names or which uh, source material validate that name but when they look at the hadith they don't look on manuscripts they say oral tradition but it's a double standard and we now need to look and question this double standard